Hello and welcome again to the ARC Automation Studio. I'm Alan Avery, a Senior Analyst here at ARC Advisory Group, and today's topic in the studio is going to be SCADA systems for power, transmission, and distribution. Joining me today is Rick Riss, a Senior Consultant here at ARC, and he's just completed a study on this topic. Thanks for joining us today, Rick. Uh, let's start by getting a little background on your experience in the industrial automation market, and then perhaps we can get an overview of what's involved in uh, SCADA systems for power or TND. My name is Rick Riss, and as Alan mentioned, I'm a senior consultant at ARC with a bachelor's degree and a PE license in chemical engineering. I prepare the market studies for TND SCADA, substation automation, and operator training simulators. I have also prepared market studies for microgrids, grid scale batteries, building automation, and automation project services. My background is in the area of control and safety system design for refining, gas, chemicals, paper, food, pharmaceuticals, and electric power generation. That includes fossil, nuclear, and renewable power. Working for the Foxborough Company for 20 years, now a Schneider Electric Company, and continuing as the principal of my own consulting company, R2 Control, since 1996. I've designed and built control algorithms for many high consequence processes. I'm a light commissioner in a small town that owns and operates two early generation wind turbines. I've also designed and built my own net zero solar home in a manner to be grid interactive. The TND SCADA market study starts at the substation for electric generation and includes the management of transmission and distribution electrical networks, including substations and certain field mounted equipment. The TND SCADA study does extend into the distribution system and includes the connections to microgrids, wind and solar farms, grid scale batteries and demand response aggregators or virtual power plants. This market study focuses on the control and communications and excludes the internal controls for power generation or load management. Uh, next, I wonder what big trends are, are influencing the SCADA systems market today? Alan, I'd like to talk about three trends that are driving the TND SCADA market. COVID-19, the emphasis on reliability, and massive growth of electric grids, particularly in China. COVID-19 did not really impact the TND SCADA market in 2019, but we saw plenty of disruptions in 2020 associated with lockdown extent. The uh, one of the lasting impacts that we're going to be seeing is the operational protocols for how you manage critical control rooms and the need for secure remote access for monitoring and control systems. The second item is reliability. Societies worldwide depend on reliable electric power for their economy. Reliability is threatened by weather events, cyber attack, rapid expansion of developing networks, the increased use of air conditioning, the emergence of electric vehicles, the changing mix of generation assets. All of these functions are requiring TND SCADA systems to modernize and deal with a completely changing electric grid and electric network. The third item is China. China has grown amazingly quickly in terms of their electric power generation. India is also growing at the small rate, although their electric grid is, a, is much smaller. And other Asian countries and even Latin American and uh, Eastern European countries are also expanding their electric grids. And this growth has uh, requires new TND SCADA systems as well. What are some of the drivers that have been critical to growth in the SCADA market? What are the underlying drivers that have been critical to growth in the TND market? There's three factors we'll discuss. The first is growth in China. New electric grids with new generation are, being, are bringing power to people that previously had no power or were underserved. The growth of the Chinese electric grid in particular during the last 10 years has been phenomenal as the power generated in China now exceeds all the power generated by the US and the Euro 27 countries. 
The growth is continuing in China and India and other Asian countries that are expanding their electric grids. The second issue that is affecting the TND market is reliability. Modern economies require electric power to function. The economic costs of power failures have been increasing and electric grids need to be hardened and have increased operational flexibility and grid operations need to be improved. Improved situational awareness, grid control measures, operational software applications, and cybersecurity are part of the issues that are driving growth in the TND SCADA market. The third item that's impacting the TND SCADA market is the changes to the electric grid have created new challenges to maintain grid stability and balance supply and demand with different generation assets and new daily and seasonal load profiles. The grid control problem has changed in the US and Europe, moving from large central station plants to distributed wind and solar generation. Environmental constraints such as renewable portfolio standards, clean power standards, and public opposition to nuclear power are changing the power generation mixture with natural gas, wind, and solar dominating new power generation in the US and Europe. The situation in other parts of the world is quite different as roughly 500 new coal-fired power plants are being built. And there are about 50 new nuclear plants still under construction worldwide, particularly in India and China. So what are the underlying drivers that have been critical to growth in the transmission and distribution SCADA market? Well, I've mentioned already China. When you increase electric generation to the extent that China has done, it's pretty obvious that transmission and distribution SCADA systems have to be built to, to match that generation. The other uh, thing I had mentioned already was grid reliability. Uh, the economic costs of power failures justify hardening the grid adding redundancy and making sure that there's operational flexibility to to in, in, to ensure grid stability. You know, grid operators need to improve situational awareness to monitor and control the electric grid and also to improve grid maintenance like outages. So software applications that improve grid stability and operational efficiency have been one of the highest uh, parts of growth on the software side of the TND SCADA market. Third item is really the grid control problem has been changing. Uh, grid operators have significantly different type of grid today. Uh, going away is the large central station generation and vertical integration of utilities being replaced by non-dispatchable renewable solar, wind, and uh, grid scale batteries, and, and also increased involvement on the load side with aggregation of demand response and, and a different type and, and a evolving a load profile, particularly that will evolve as electric vehicles are, uh, are, are becoming on the grid and changing the load profile and, and really do need to be managed. Makes sense to me. Now, what trends do you think will have the greatest impact on shaping strategic initiatives for suppliers to the SCADA T&D market? I'd like to discuss two trends in the transmission and distribution SCADA market that will have an impact on the strategic initiatives for suppliers and give them some ideas about what types of new products they might consider developing. The first is in the area of secure remote SCADA system access. We know that NERC and FERC and in Europe the ANISA organizations require certain security and SCADA uh, cybersecurity uh, features and functions in order to keep their systems secure. But this problem is enhanced when control room operators are the only ones in the control room and managers and supervisors and engineers uh, and maintenance staff are, are essentially banned from those control rooms. As a result, there's a need to provide those um, those those important uh, people and organizations and stakeholders uh, access to the appropriate information with the appropriate user interface and the appropriate security privileges uh, throughout whatever environment they need to be productive. And so I think some innovation is needed here. The second trend I would like to discuss is the increased need for operational execution software applications and aids that allow the grid to operate more reliably, efficiently, and stably. This is particularly needed as our grid has changed from 
vertically integrated central station power to more distributed uh, generation, particularly with non-dispatchable renewables like solar and wind. So the control problem is certainly changing and different and maintaining grid stability is an evolving uh, situation. Grid uh, operators need to gather the data and see the situations that uh, of how well their current uh, frequency control and uh, wholesale market and ancillary service markets are actually performing to see if there can be improvements and to design new such markets and ancillary services in the future. Uh, there's also a very important to monitor outages and blackouts and and the maintenance issues to to keep that grid up and operating. And that's all the time we have for today. Uh, thanks for joining us, Rick, and sharing your insights on the SCADA systems market for power transmission and distribution. Uh, audience members who have any uh, questions uh, should get in touch with a client manager here at ARC or the author himself directly. Uh, that does it for us in the automation studio. Thanks for your attention and have a great day.